Hey guys, I'm going through the making of the Revenge of the Sith book, and I found something else that I want to go over with you all. Now, whether you like the prequel trilogy like me, or you absolutely hate it, and you're talking about how it has poor, clunky dialogue, or is the best thing ever, this video will probably be interesting to you because a lot of people have made it very known that the prequel trilogy dialogue is like one of the main things that they detest. And so this excerpt is actually from George Lucas where he's talking about how he's not known for dialogue and that he doesn't really care and what he actually sees it as. So check this out. While I was reading it, there was this part, there was this script, which I'm going to make another video on because it completely changes what Palpatine was supposed to say regarding what happened to Padme when Anakin was turned into Darth Vader. And that's pretty compelling. But since the book actually explains how that was a majorly changed dialogue for the movie, George goes on to comment about it and he says, as I write the next drafts, explains Lucas, there will be a lot more cutting and pasting. Certain sequences will be right and I'll just jump through them. The last thing that will be dealt with is the dialogue because that you can change on the set or even afterwards, you know. I'm not known for my dialogue, laughs. I think of it as a sound effect, a rhythm, a vocal chorus in the overall soundtrack. Mostly everything is visual. So I hope that answers some of the rhetoric behind the clunky bad dialogue from the prequels is that George, first of all, he knows that he's not meant to write dialogue. He knows his dialogue is maybe a little clunky, but also he doesn't care. He's just using it literally as a sound effect, like a lightsaber hum. If you put Star Wars on mute, and I've actually done this, you will still get a very descriptive story even without the dialogue. And I think that's what makes a pretty good film is that when you can watch something without any noise, you can still figure out quite well what is going on and what's happening. And so for George, when it came to writing Star Wars, he didn't care much for the dialogue or what they say or how they say it or if it's poetic or not. He just cared to get the scenes across and the acting done right. And now I know that's probably another thing people are going to say is that, hey, you know, the acting was horrible in the prequel trilogy. Personally, I think it was great. I think the reasons for the acting to be the way it was were very specific. And I've gone over this in many other videos. I won't reiterate myself. But essentially, you know, Anakin was supposed to be a very sullen, brainwashed, and you know, almost submissive person, you know, controlled by Watto, then controlled by the Jedi, then controlled by Palpatine. So I love how George actually pokes fun at himself. Just like that time he wore that t-shirt when he was making the prequel trilogy where I think it was a quote from like Time Magazine or something like that, about like, like some reporter just ripping on Star Wars. It was definitely one of my favorite shirts, the favorite photos of George because it just shows that he just really doesn't give a crap about what people think. He makes his movies because he enjoys them and that's actually what we're going to be getting to in another video as well is him explaining why he made these movies. And I'll give you a little tease. What drove me to make these movies is that this is a really interesting story about how people go bad. In this particular case, the premise is nobody thinks they're bad. They simply have different points of view. This is about a kid that's really blah, 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 blah. And we can go into it because it's about two, three paragraphs long. But yeah, I think it's, you know, this should hopefully kind of address the clunky dialogue rhetoric that people have or haters have, or not even haters, people who just don't like the prequel trilogy. And that's fine. You don't always have to like it. But in my opinion, I think the dialogue was just fine the way it was. And I think it's one of the reasons why we love the prequels so much, because, well, that's what we got. And if it were any different, maybe we wouldn't appreciate it as much. And I know many people are going to say, oh, the I don't like sand. But, you know, I made a video on that, too. And that's essentially talking about how Anakin sees sand as slavery and all of the hardships that his mother went through and he went through as a kid. I'm pretty sure all of us would hate the association of sand as well. But anyways, I guess it didn't really travel to most people, but... That's okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it taught you something new about George and what he thinks about the people who make fun of him. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.